yesterday, did you guys notice the little me floating across the screen? Oh my gosh, that was so fun to do. Um, so if, yeah, if you didn't see it, and if you haven't seen the contest vlog, like the updated contest vlog, then go and take a look at that. And I, in my way, no means meant that you guys had to do everything all over again. I, I, I just have a feeling that's what some people are gonna think. No, this is if you haven't entered the contest yet, which, oh my God, pallets. It's the pallet squirrel. Oh my gosh, look at all those. And they're all even. You know how many even walls you can make with all those? I'm drooling. windows from the window to the wall wow that's pretty that's 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 crazy it's now time for the scary car of the day all right guys scary car of the day okay this has to do with brakes this is a rotor <laughs> um, you see this it shouldn't do bad Today is kind of a sad day. Cue sad music now. Today is the day that I go and I try to sell my, my Crackberry, my old friend. We've had so many memories together. <laughs> this phone has been with me for like forever and a day. So here we go. We're going to cell phone George. And there was a time when Zach and Jeremy and I all had the same type of phone. And there's been so many memories. So many vlogs watched. So many comments seen. And yes, I have gone through and deleted everything off of it, all personal information. You don't want somebody calling like your wife and saying, I know who you are. Okay, I'm stopping now. Apparently, that phone isn't worth anything because it's T-Mobile. They don't buy T-Mobile phones. That sucks. Oh my gosh, guys. Today is such a nice day. Tomorrow's supposed to be nice and Sunday's supposed to be nice. Um, yes, we're barbecuing on the grill because you just have to do it. You have to. Um. Oh, here's something that kind of sucks. When I had the, uh, the bonfire, oh, she's peeing. There, okay, she's done. You guys can look now. You covered your eyes, right? Oh, I still have some left. Awesome. I burned a bunch of the scrap plywood. And with the birdhouses, I was thinking, ooh, it'd be cool to have a base on it and then have like a little fence go around it popsicle sticks you know whatever and then like a little graveyard in the front might be kind of cool so anyway but then I got to thinking about it it's like oh no I burned all of them but I didn't there's a couple left yes <laughs> wait wait <laughs> <laughs> It's good, it's good, it's good. <laughs> watch watch his hair. <laughs> I was very, very young then, younger than I am now. Of course, that was years ago, I tell you. Now, here's what you need to do. You need to make sure you always tell your mommy and your daddy Thank you, please, and you're welcome. Always tell them that. I tell you this now. Uh, just listen to me. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you were getting that? <laughs> wow. All right. Where am I going, you might ask? Ha ha ha! Tomorrow, and I haven't said anything yet,
tomorrow might be a really, really fun day, guys. If everything pans out, if everything works, then tomorrow will be like freaking awesome because I'm going to go hang out with Scott Coling and Sailor's Grave Haunt, Sean Morse, and Jody from HauntedNightmare.com and a bunch of other people at a birthday party that is being put on by the former Cube 93 Haunted House, which is now the Georgetown Morgue. Awesome, freaking awesome stuff. And I'm going to storage right now to get Beetlejuice. And yes, Beetlejuice was not stolen. I thought he was initially, and he was just like dumped out of the bag and pushed into a corner. So we do have Beetlejuice, and I will be reprising my role of Beetlejuice. I'm coming for your daughter, Chuck. Gosh, it's the nighttime in Washington without a jacket. You guys know the weather's good. And there we go, guys. There is Beetlejuice and everything that I've made. And I forgot about this. Do you guys remember when I made this costume? If you've been following that long, do you remember the ring that I made? Because I tried to get into such detail that I even made the ring for Beetlejuice. Freaking awesome. So anyway, there it is. And it still fits. The end of the contest is growing near. I hope all of you catch the vlog tomorrow. I hope that everything that is supposed to happen happens tomorrow because if it does, then I think that you guys are really going to enjoy it. So make sure to tune in tomorrow also. And I appreciate you guys watching every day for those of you that do. Um, question of the day, 3, 28, 13. If you were stuck in any scary slash... Halloweenish movie. Which one would it be and why? Dana Abbott said, The Shining. I want to get away for a while. Muhahaha. <laughs> Always a, a jokester. And Tanya Lobauer. I think I got that right. Scream. So I can backhand everybody for not following the rules. Then off the two teenage dorks before they actually start slaughtering anyone. Or maybe Woman in the Black and make sure that he never gets to the house in the first place. Then marry him. The son is cute and I could always use a successful accountant that looks like Daniel Radcliffe. Alright guys. Awesome stuff. On with cock. Gothic Dorothy. To decorate my haunted birdhouses, I would do layers of stains to make it look old along with washes and I think you get some crackling, oh I think you should get some crackling medium. Check out the craft paints and Michaels and you'll know what I mean. I do know what, what you mean, I'm pretty sure the crackling paint to make it look like, you know, the old house is like the paints like crackling off. That, that sounds like a good idea. Tell him 35, hey haven't seen your vlogs in a while but I got a better you might be a haunter if. You might be a hunter if you find dead rats in your garage and you use them in your haunt to save money. And he goes on to say, and saw the intro, it was hysterical. Uh, actually, three times in the vlog, I kind of flew by. I don't know. I was just screwing around, guys. It was fun to do. Jason Daniel, just a thought. Instead of using popsicle sticks, use broken toothpicks. It gives a little bit more detail and will look even creepier. They can be used as shingles or siding and maybe even windowsills. You decide. And, about the Cabbage Patch dolls, I have a small collection of Garbage Pail Kids. They are grotesque and so cool to look at. I know, I used to have the Garbage Pail uh, card, just one of them. It was my name, Troy Destroy. Mike B, I saw a flying Troy bird looking for a haunted birdhouse to live in. LOL, wonder if he found one. Pretty cool. <laughs> Guessy96, can I send you the $13 and get one of each shot glass? Uh, shot glasses are $5 each. If you want to get one red and one purple, the ones I currently have, then including shipping and handling, it would be $15 uh, for standard 50 states. And if you wanted to pre-order the 2013 glass and get the other two, then it'd be... 20. <laughs> 20 even, including shipping and handling. Branson Haunted Hills, love the Flying Troys. Since you guys are going to be making birdhouses, you should add wings to the Flying Troy so he can be a bird. Hmm. 
for our haunted dollhouse. We got the bigger popsicle sticks, broke off the ends, used a wood burner for details, and stained them. I will see if I can find a pic of it for you and tag you on Facebook. I made a lot of the detail stuff out of Sculpey clay, even bones for the graveyard. Like I said, it was so much fun. Love it. Good luck with yours. Thank you very much. And that's it, guys. Gotta get to bed. Edit. Blah, blah, blah. Tomorrow's a big day. Looking forward to it. Happy haunting.